Hello everybody and welcome to another Pixel Fly video tutorial. Today I am going to be teaching you something new with SAS. I've been learning it lately and I really really enjoy it. So today we're going to be learning variables and rather than trying to give a long spiel or whatever you want to call it and trying to explain it to you, I'm just going to show you very simple to use and you're going to love it. So let's say um, you got this simple layout right here and I have this purplish blue color and let's say you want to change that. Um, so you go over to your CSS file and you can see all the settings here. Uh, normally you'd have to go in here and change all this individually and see that I have the same color in three places. With variables you can just define the color in one place and then just quickly change it in one place and it'll change it everywhere that it's defined. Uh, if that makes sense. So up here I'm going to do dollar sign main color and this could be anything you want. It could be uh, site color, whatever, anything. Followed by colon, and then I'm just gonna pick co the colors I want. So maybe JJJ. Is that even a color? Nope. Uh, DDD873. Sure. So now I can save that, and nothing changes. But in all of these locations where it has this, I can just copy this name, site color, paste it here. Um, paste it over here on the border color again on the background color and then save it and you can see boom it changed it that's kind of a bright color uh, I, I really don't like the yellow and actually I can add even one more spot I can go for the anchors I can do the color and just again same thing save it and you'll see it'll change the anchor color so let's change that again let's do E E E six I don't know save it <laughs> it's doing all all yellows let's let's see if we can do a color picker get something that's actually something decent let's do pound or whatever six 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 simple as that and bam it changes and now this is not just for colors you can do it for um, anything that's repeating I have number 10 repeating a lot so if I want to change uh, the padding on this, let's say I change it to 20, you'll see that this this line up here gets messed up. So, let me put that back to 10. Up here, I can do um, dollar sign, what I want to name it. Uh, whatever, number. Colon, and then I will change this to 10 pixels, or 20 pixels. There we go. And then over here, I'm just going to copy it. And anywhere where 10 pixels is at, where anything's going to be the same, I will paste it there. Paste it right here. Here. And again, right there. Save it. Well, that didn't work out as planned, but anyhow, you get the main idea. I, I can use, I can define a variable, a variable up here, and then quickly just change it to anything I want, and it'll do all the colors. Um, there you go. Pretty sweet. So feel free to check it out. Try it for yourself. Let me know what you do, how you like it, and have fun. See you next time. 